has joined the game and is ready to talk Star Wars. Let's get started. Today we've got another exclusive look at some brand new characters and concept art coming from the Star Wars The High Republic Publishing Program. Feast your eyes on Skier, a gruff and opinionated Trandoshan Jedi who is concealing a secret that is threatening to tear him apart. It's okay, Skier. You can tell me your secret. You can totally trust me. I won't tell anyone. It's fine. Earlier this year, we got our first look at Avar, but today she's rocking some sweet new mission attire and gleaming bracers. And remember more Santeca? We won't be seeing the man who faced down Kylo Ren in this series, which takes place hundreds of years before the events of Star Wars The Phantom Menace. But we will get new intel on the family dynasty. For more insights from the luminous authors creating these characters and a closer look at the new concept art, head to StarWars.com slash this week. Pack your virtual bags and grab some real snacks. No virtual snacks here, okay? Real snacks only. Tomorrow, we're headed to San Diego Comic-Con 2020 from the comfort of your living room. First up, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, take a closer look at the Star Wars audiobook original, Dr. Aphra, with a panel dedicated to the new adaptation of the original Marvel comic book series. Then, at noon Pacific time, join me and Lucasfilm's senior editor, Robert Simpson, as we host the annual Lucasfilm Publishing Panel. Special guests include Timothy Zahn, Alex Segura, Justina Ireland, and so many more of our favorite Star Wars authors. Plus, check the SDCC schedule for panels on Star Wars toys from Mattel. The fun starts Friday on the official SDCC YouTube channel with select panels streaming on StarWars.com. Our friends over at ILMX Lab have gifted us with another look at their upcoming VR experience, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. This piece by concept artist Stephen Todd is a peek inside a very mysterious room. Stacks of coins, cool beverage containers, and papers strewn across the floor. Was someone playing Sabak over here? Once again, I am left with so many questions and also kind of a hankering for some Ronto reps. For more updates, keep your eyeballs on the ILMX Lab social channels and the Star Wars Tales hashtag. This summer, Target is launching an exclusive Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost collection in stores and online, inspired by Batu at Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resort. The full assortment will land on August 30th, like Captain Cardinal from Hasbro's highly detailed Black Series line, and a massive vintage collection Millennium Falcon with Hondo Onaka action figure. A Lego Resistance ITS transport, just like you can find in the Rise of the Resistance ride, and new bobbleheads in Funko's Pop series. Check out the full reveal on StarWars.com now. This week in Star Wars history, back in 1978, on July 21st, Fans were treated to a theatrical re-release of Star Wars just one day after the official first U.S. run ended. In the days before even VHS allowed us to watch and rewatch our favorite moments, this re-release gave moviegoers a chance to relive all their favorite scenes for a limited run that ended that November. The version of the film also included a new line of dialogue from our favorite fretting golden friend, C-3PO. The tractor beam is coupled to the main reactor in seven locations. A power loss at one of the terminals would allow the ship to leave. Droid, please. <laughs> As we mentioned earlier in the episode, SDCC at Home kicks off tomorrow, and even though this year's events will be digital, we want to know if you'll be dressing up in real life. IRL, as they say online. Maybe you'll dress up as Dr. Aphra or Triple Zero for the Aphra audiobook original panel, or sport your Jedi robes for the Lucasfilm publishing panel. The options are pretty much endless, and just think, you could wear your most complicated cosplay and not have to worry about the San Diego summer heat. That's a win-win. And if you're staying in sweats, but thinking back to past years, we would also love to see some of your past SDCC cosplays that you are most proud of. Tweet them to us using the hashtag ThisWeeksCosplay and we'll share some in next week's episode. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.